Okay, vanilla time. Well, nearly vanilla. Uh, we're doing... Um, what are we doing? Uh, limons. There you go. We're doing limons. And we're doing it in group C. And we have got some mod group C's in there, but we're not driving them. All right, vanilla. Uh, running at 105%, I think. Let's just go for it. Four laps. We're on the G29. And we're using the manual shifter. Uh, the weather is set to historic, so I have no idea, because I have literally not done any testing. We've got 32 cars on track. We're starting midfield. Let's just go for a race. Let's just let's just let's just spin it round at the top of the hill. I've got a feeling this track is quite green. Slot ourselves back in. We were in the uh, the old Mercedes Sauber. Oh, and this track is very very slippy. slippy indeed. We're on soft slicks, so we'll see how this goes. Uh, a couple of five gears, so I don't need to worry about changing up. We, uh, ease off here. Coming to this slow, as we slowly work out how much grip we've got, which is not a lot. Definitely not a lot. <laughs> Don't be stomping on that right pedal, Owen. So why are we going vanilla? Because uh, we are. It's not all about the mods. Although, as we come up on two Panoses, that might seem a bit odd to say. Three Panoses. The Toyota GT1. <laughs> oh yeah, this track is definitely wet. I've just gone for a puddle. I'm getting a bit of spray. Not the car to be in on, on, on soft slicks on this stuff, jeepers. So, big landmark. Um, when I hit a thousand subscribers about four or five months ago, a lot changing out on the gravel, that was a bad idea. Um, one of the things in my head was so. When I drop below a thousand subs, does that mean I'm not monetized anymore? Well, I'm happy to say we've just hit 2,000 subs. Yay, fanfare and all the rest of it. Whoa, come on, Panos. Uh, so I think we can forget about that just for the moment. It's like bimble in here. I'm just feeling out the track, people. Some bits are dry, some bits are wet. So yeah, we've hit 2,000 subs, so thank you everybody who subscribed. It's been emotional, man. It's been emotional. I like driving this thing at the moment. So we're on the verge of 1.6 drop-in. Uh, the mod tools are out there with the modders and they've been uh, doing their stuff. Getting things ready. So it's, uh, it's imminent. Gonna uh, like the last big update one five six was it? Uh, gonna change things up radically once again. And the mutterings I'm hearing is it's radically gonna change it for uh, improvements, positive changes. That's what we like. It's not gonna please everybody. Then again, you can't please everybody all the time. Uh, I think the uh, vast majority are uh, going to enjoy it, from what I've been told. There you go. I'm not privy to uh, app tests at that level. <laughs> I'm a mere YouTuber. There you go. My life title, YouTuber. Okay, down to third. We're starting to feel the grips. The grips, yes. Starting to feel the grips, man where the grips are, so there's definitely none here. 
these are not the cars you want to be going sideways in. Oh, we're having you lot, you're having your little battle, I'm going over here, thank you, bye. Power of the salver blasts through yet again. Break a bit early because I am. I do know it is a bit wet round here. It was last time. Yeah, it's a bit of understeer. I'm trying to turn it with the power on. Not good, so it's definitely damp there. Moist, as they would say. My mate petrifying pumpkins would say, sorry. Bit of a lock up, water on the track. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, GT1, give me a nudge there. No penalties, happy days. Oof. Yeah, these are a fantastic car, and uh, 1.6 is uh, about to throw this whole kind of class to the four of AMS2. style of racing which you can't wait to see what they do with these cars with the new tyre model that's going to be something else here we go again throw it in, drop the gear, start going down the gear trying to scrub speed off and not lock up too much Okay, they get down to second. Late turning. Whoa, gosh. The track is uh, still quite damp offline. Ooh. Big American lump of iron in front of us. Let's have a rant. We've got far enough in now that the uh, the general populace of YouTube have left. They've gone, hmm, cars, mm, click off, dislike. So let's have a bit of a rant. It's been a bit of a bit of um, discourse on Discord. Oh, big lock up, block change to second. That wasn't the, that wasn't the plan. I just touched the brakes and locked it. Um, so yeah, there's been a little bit of a descent amongst the ranks about uh, mod tracks and mod cars and untruths being told that, you know, it's, the AI runs it like, what was it said? 60% when you set 100 and none of the pits can be used and you can't use it online and, and on and on and on and on and on. It's like... <laughs> I'm racing here with mod cars, all right? Regularly race with mod tracks, as we all know. And we don't have any issues. And I do race with mod tracks online with other people, with mod tracks and mod cars at the same time. With only the usual issues you get from AMS2 online. <clears throat> Nothing about that said. Ultimately, the mod stuff Look, it's, it's fans making cars essentially for free for other fans to use. And generally, 99% of the time, the mods are fun to drive, they're enjoyable to drive, they're believable in a sim situation to drive. Um, yeah, they might be a little bit rough around the edges, some of them. Uh, and some get released and then are worked on as time goes by. Whoa! But I'm not a driving god, as you can see. So when we're getting down to that kind of micro dissection of things, and, well, this is wrong and that's wrong. It, I can't tell. All I know is whether it feels right or it doesn't feel right. If it doesn't feel right, then I well, I don't make a video on it. I'm 
I'm really not into kind of negative stuff, so you won't find videos of me going, isn't this terrible? So it just seems like I'm just a fanboy and love everything, but I'm not bothered really. <laughs> There's enough hurt in the world that I don't need to add it to it about a bloody computer game, right? Right. That's the situation. Deal with it. Anyway, enough of that. Enough of that. 1.6 is about to drop and we will all be uh, in the words of pumpkin getting moist over it all right it's gonna be good believe people believe and all the uh, vanilla stuff like this will change and will become more detailed and breathe life into it goes the same for the mods as well they all come under the same umbrella ultimately they're using the game engine for the physics we're not importing physics and all the rest of it from the project cars series games it's running on the ams2 ams2 stuff from the uh, tire physics to the ai so going to be happy days that, that's it, there you go, you had a little bit of a, an insight into my mental state. <laughs> Four months on from becoming a uh, YouTube celebrity among about 12 people. You just take the piss anyway, alright. Again, oh, it's a little kickback. It must be damp up there. This is the this is the problem of putting it on realistic weather. Historic weather is well. A, it might start raining at any moment. B, the track is an unknown quantity. But you know what? That just adds to it, doesn't it? Really. And I'm going to say it. Mod tracks. You can't put historic weather on. There you go found the negative. I don't know what I'm doing. Right, leave it in fifth, don't we? There's no sixth gear, and reverse is a bad idea. And this is the last lap, so let's 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 go for it. Yeah, not go for it like that, Owen. Jeepers. Shall change it there. Yeah, that was bad, they're all on me. Let's just check it, yeah, it is the last lap. So we're either going to finish it in style, or it's going to end badly. Okay, looking for my braking zone on the right, and there it is, down to third, blipping on the downshift, off the brake as I turn in, it's wet here, blipping down to second. Oh, it is really damp here in the bumpy stuff. All these trees around. Okay, what can we do here? We've got a good run. He's covering the inside line. Fine. Crowd ya, crowd ya. Check my mirrors there just to make sure I am clear. Behind the jelly moulds. Get a bit of a draft off here. Oh, ho, ho, ho. you little sneaker. AI being AI as usual. Uh, I won't leave a link in the description, but if you want the other GT cars that you've seen dotted around here, they're off uh, from the flash. If you are struggling to find them, give us a shout. I'll, I'll reply with a link, okay? But these GT1s like the Sauber are part of the game. Checking my mirrors here. Make sure there's no flames coming out of the back of the car. I'll change the fourth. Oh, I've got a bit wobbly there, I've gone wide. Get back on it. Lift to turn in. Lift again as the back end stepping out. Lift again gradually. Lift, 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 lift. Gradually bring the power on. Lift, turn it in. Just on the steering off. And back on the power. There was 
more accelerator inputs and steering inputs on that there. Third gear for the first one. Blip down to second. Well, we're not on fire, we're not going backwards. And the hair's still on the head. Thanks for watching and thanks for subscribing. All 2000 and however many there are now. Cheers, guys. Stay positive. Adios.